This is the heartbeat of the community. A gateway to the Gulf, to Florida's capital, and one of the fastest growing economies in the South. If there's any city in the state that needs accessibility, this is it. Tallahassee might be known for its world-class universities. For its football. Sitting down the sideline. Makes the and for its sunshine. But there's an exciting new energy beneath the skyline of this 21st century high-tech hub. There's so much happening here right now. Tallahassee is very, very surprising to people who've not been here. More than $300 million in current construction. We have uh, college town development near the FSU campus. Adding 2,400 jobs to the economy. As a place to come and start a business uh, as a place to raise a family. Core economic sectors, including renewable energy, health sciences, research and engineering, and aviation and aerospace. And a vibrant, uh, diverse economy. It is a global economy. New development, backed by the stability of the state capital. We're a community that has been willing to invest in itself. More than 20,000 employees with thousands more working for the affiliated offices that lace the downtown core. A downtown that's been reborn over the last decade. It's a great, vibrant downtown, too, if you want to be right here in the heart of everything. Local and global flavors, reflecting the diversity generated by a pair of the country's most well-known universities. Florida a and University, Florida State University. Collectively, Tallahassee's universities educate more than 55,000 full-time students and employ more than 20,000 faculty and staff members. On football weekends, Tallahassee swells as more than 80,000 fans descend on the campuses. But these universities are about more than sports, boasting top programs in engineering, physics, and meteorology. Once you get here, you really don't want to leave. We have a growing technology sector because of the research that's coming out of Florida A&M and Florida State. Tallahassee has a lot to boast, a lot to be proud about. One of the reasons so many baby boomers are moving in. It's a wonderful family town. And we have grandkids, and we have family, and they come to visit us, and they fly here. The culture of a much larger city. See you all later. Have a good day. Set alongside one of America's finest coasts. Unparalleled natural beauty. The Gulf. Unspoiled, quiet, serene, unique. Natural preserves like the St. Mark's Wildlife Refuge with coastal marshes, tidal creeks, and one of the oldest lighthouses in the eastern U.S. The beaches here are different, primitive, uncrowded, seemingly untouched by the millions who have visited. We have a lot of southern charm. It's the land of live oak trees and hanging moss, canopy roads, and pristine lakes. Well, Color Springs is, is probably considered one of the greatest natural assets of North Florida. One of the few places in the world manatees still live in the wild. Each destination linked by the region's famed canopy roads, where cars tunnel through moss-draped trees, passing horse stables and southern mansions. Dubbed Florida's quiet side, beach communities like Apalachicola draw vacationers looking for a taste of the way the Gulf used to be. Right across from Apalachicola Bay, St. George Island, a narrow barrier known for its tranquility. And Tallahassee Regional Airport is at the center of it all. Uh, the international footprint now puts us in the worldwide conversation when it comes to obtaining new business and the ability to allow general aviation, cargo, and passenger flights in the near future to fly directly into Tallahassee. The international designation of the airport uh, did a lot in that regard. What the airport is for us is a gateway. From Miami Flight 7258. Thank you again. Yeah, no problem. A gateway that's grown by 8% in 2012 adding an average of 70 more passengers per day each way. We have an outstanding airport. A focus on airline cost, a 10% cost reduction per year for each of the next four years, back to 2007 levels. It's coming in now, it took off from Atlanta and it's on its way here. You're all Thank set. You 10 gates and immediate room for additional service, but small enough to ensure passengers don't waste time. It's easy to get in and out of. From the time you get off the plane, 
to the time you're in your car. If you don't have luggage, less than 10 minutes. You can park very close. You can leave your car at a reasonable rate. Close in parking is $11 a day. Compare that to Jacksonville, where close in parking costs $18 a day. Are you checking bags with Delta? Or you can drop off your car at the valet for just $15 a day. Still less than parking it yourself at Jacksonville. You have to have a, a viable airport and good air service to attract and retain businesses. And while new flights and new destinations are essential, the community understands it must pitch in to reduce airline risk. We're ready to step forward and do some marketing in those, in those areas to really, again, tell people about why they need to consider Tallahassee as a place to come and visit. We think we've got something special. We think the airlines, once they take a closer look, will realize that too. Tallahassee Regional Airport is ready to serve as your gateway to the Gulf.